things still seem to be going bad for Will Smith, who has been facing nothing but bad news for about three weeks now. And I don't know when this is going to, like, settle down. I really don't. I thought it would have, like, a week and a half ago. But stuff just, see, it just keeps coming out. And I, I would imagine probably for the next week or so, it's still going to get bad for him because he had the brilliant idea of joining his wife on a group therapy show that they made public weekly, I believe, on Instagram called Red Table Talk. That's the name of the show. So naturally, now that we have an idea of how bad this marriage is publicly, thanks to the slap at the Oscars, everyone's going through it now and analyzing everything they say. So more stuff's coming out. And it's really looking bad for Jada Pickett-Smith, who I'm going to get to next. But I wanted to hit this up. This broke yesterday, I believe. Chris Rock has been doing a tour. And he's not really talking about the Oscars incident. And the reason that is, is apparently he has a show planned where he's going to talk about it in detail. And he's basically saying, listen, I'm not going to talk about it till I get paid. And I understand that that's, that's fine. Uh, he, there's a lot of speculation that he was going to sue. I don't think that's the case. Apparently he has a show going. I'm not talking about that until I get paid. Rock reportedly said during a comedy show in Palm Springs over the weekend, according to a report from the Desert Sun, Rock has a whole show planned around the incident. So I really don't think he's going to sue Will Smith, though he he, he probably should. In my opinion, this has damaged Chris Rock's career a little bit. I think long-term it will, because he's always going to be known as the guy that got bitch-smacked at the Oscars. No matter how anybody wants to see it, that's always going to be there. So, I don't know. I, I, I would sue him if I were Chris Rock, but I don't think that he's going to. He's going to do a show. So, here's what I wanted to talk about with Jada Pickett-Smith. Experts are analyzing her behavior, and it would appear that she's distancing herself from her own husband, which I think is really shitty, but it lines up with a lot of the behavior that we've seen from her. She's laying low not wanting to be associated with her husband. And isn't that kind of messed up? Think about if you were with your partner and they were in a similar situation. Wouldn't you stand up for them and have their back? Isn't that what marriage is all about, being there for your significant other? I mean, you're supposed to be partners. You're supposed to be there for each other. But no, it's all about Jada Pickett Smith's brand. How can I make sure my own husband doesn't damage my career? God forbid... Uh, my husband damages my career. She's She hasn't had his back at all. In fact, she's come out and and blamed him. She's taking back her defense of him publicly. I'm going to walk that back. Uh, I didn't mean to defend my own husband. She should be on top of a car screaming, my husband is a good man, good father, loves his family, and loves me. No, she's not doing any of that. Instead, she's smearing the man publicly. This doesn't make her look good. But she seems to think that it does. I don't know who her PR is, but, man, whoever it is has given her, given her a bad batch of advice. Bad batch of advice. So she's laying low, trying her best to get people to forget that she is married to this man. And I got to say, WTF. I don't really understand why she stays or why he stays with her. I mean, they obviously have a toxic relationship, but man, maybe I, I think you'd be much happier if you just left her, Will Smith. And I don't think that I'm the only one that thinks this. Everybody's taking shots at him and her. You get this guy, Kodak Black. <laughs> He's now dunking on her. Uh, says, Jada Pickett doesn't deserve Will Smith. You deserve me. And he says that because he basically says he'd treat her like shit. Will Smith loves her and treats her good. Uh, he would treat her like shit, as she should be. <laughs> he says, he, says uh, he took to Instagram over the weekend to dunk on them and said, you got an N 
who love you, all kinds of shit. Kodak said, come fuck with Kodak. That's what you need because you just on some BS. You don't deserve Will Smith. You deserve Yak. You deserve me. <laughs> Basically saying, uh, he says, come get you a whole nother daughter who's going to praise you. <laughs> Everyone's coming out on this. Her day, her, she's trying her best to stay out of this, but she's getting pulled in. And that's her own fault for doing that stupid red table talk. Her brilliant idea to shit all over their marriage to make herself look good somehow because of the whole empowering thing that's going on. And if anything, it ended up biting her in the ass. I think her damage has had more, her brand has had more damage than Will Smith's brand because she really didn't have much of a presence publicly before this. Nobody was talking about Jada Pickett Smith unless she was in something. Now everyone's talking about her. So, anyway, let me know what you guys think about all of this. I'd like to hear from you. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, make sure to follow me over on Twitch. I do watch parties, play video games over there. They're always fun. Follow me over there and come hang out. Also, make sure you subscribe to Yellow Flash, my other channel. There's a link to that in the description as well. I do a lot of live streams over there that I don't do on this channel. They're usually smaller and a little bit more personal. So make sure you follow me over there and sign up.